the fact is that what the president has done is he's agreed to a framework where there's some rates uh, and the, the Republicans in the Senate, if they feel like they need a higher top rate than 35 percent in order to get a deal done or get the revenue that they want, then the president you know, would look into that. And on the corporate side, we've got a rate of 20 percent, but there's details about like what do you charge for repatriating earnings and so on that are still to be worked out. But there's so many levers that basically any serious people of goodwill of both parties ought to be able to come together and say, well, if you put the levers here, I'll support it. And that's hopefully the conversation that we're going to see. I think about just the acrimony that, that we see, re more of it really across the aisle, obviously. Uh, I don't know whether that, that shouldn't matter since uh, Republicans control Congress, but you've got like Larry Summers in a Washington Post column. This isn't just business as usual. This is, I don't even know what to call this. He's, he called you, Gary Cohn, and Steve Mnuchin ignorant, disingenuous, and dishonest, and went on to say Hassett, whose job is to stand up for rigorous apolitical economic allowance, had the temerity last week to accuse the tax policy center of scientifically independent. I mean, it's nasty, and and that's on that's just the Democratic side of things. <laughs> and I've had the, they, they come in and said there's not a single economist, mainstream economist, that says that uh, that tax cuts on on corporations can end up paying for them. So all, all kinds of things that they say definitively, you know, that, that trickle down doesn't right. work. That, so well, you're not going to get those guys on board, I don't think. Well, well, Joe, you know, thanks for mentioning that. You know, as you know, that if, if you come into a place like this, then people are going to take pot shots at you. And I think that what I'd like to see folks like you do, and do it to me too, is say, well, you know, what's your evidence? Uh, show me the data. What paper are you talking about that says it has us out to lunch? And I think if you push guys like Larry Summers, who's like the guy who gave us cash for clunkers, for goodness sake, uh, if, you, if you push guys like him on that and just say, okay, so what did Hassett get wrong? You look at that whole article, there's not one thing that he mentioned that I did wrong other than to just sort of make sweeping statements of how there's no economist. Right. But, but those statements are just false because I'm an economist, and so he's already I wrong. You know, I mean, so anyway, it's, it's just uh, you know, part of the game. Uh, you know, I'm going to attempt to remain graceful and just talk about the facts. Good. And I think that if somebody comes on and says something about that, like that about me, then just say, hey, what, what are you talking about? Which oh, I don't think Larry's the problem. That's, that's it. Corker might yeah. be the problem or... Who knows? I mean, take your pick in this in this wacky uh, GOP Senate that you've got. You've got everybody's everybody loves to be on on the front page of the Washington Post. It, it seems like um, so. But, who, but who, can who? I can I just respond to that because this circles back to the president's speech today uh, in Harrisburg in front of a bunch of truckers who will really be helped by this because it'll bring so much activity home. But the bottom line is, I've got a lot of friends in the Senate that are Democrats, that are Republicans, and, and to a man or woman, everybody in the end does what they think is right. Sometimes what they think is not what I think, but, but most people just do what they think is right for the country when push comes to shove. And I think that the case that the president's gonna make today in his speech and that we're gonna make over the next few weeks for this tax reform is so strong, it's so overwhelming. I mean, every country in Europe has already done what we're doing in, in Greek. Greece, the uh, radical party of the far left, has a lower rate than us. Right? The, all of the people around the world are agreeing that we should do something like uh, what President Trump right. has proposed because it works. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.